John here, guys, and today we're talking about the All Fox here build. This is for uh, the Freestyle Channel Bleak FPV. He's one of this All Fox here build, and it has the new Fox here Datura 2207.5 1960 kV motors that we're running on 6S. That's right, the good stuff, the Tattoo 4. Point oh, and man, this Foxair Aura frame is lightweight and has a lot of nice TPU protection for you right there. It flies excellent. So let's go do a little freestyling on the most popular racing course in the world, the Houston Nice Spot. Let's go check it out, guys. Pair of new frames by Foxair. Did you know that the guys that make the cameras and the VTXs and the antennas? also have started making frames and this is both the Foxeer build. We have the Foxeer Lollipop V4, the Foxeer Aura 5 inch freestyle frame. We have the Foxeer Toothless camera. We have the Dal RC engine the first ESC that had a metal heatsink on there, uh, also made by Foxeer. Then we have the Foxeer Datura 2207.5 1960 kV motors. These are the brand new ones. And we're mating these to the Dow Cyclone V2, also made by Foxeer, you guessed it. The only things that really aren't Fox here are the Crossfire receiver and this classic flight controller, one of the favorite flight controllers of all time. The Pyro F4, see it has some really nice prints. This definitely gives me some uh, recollection to the Apex whenever you first look at it. It does have that sort of sandwich plate design, but it is a little bit different because it does have a full front to back uh, bottom plate and a full front to back top plate. It comes with this custom cut uh, battery non-slide thing on there, which is quite nice. It builds up very easy. I really love the prints that it comes with, including the arm motor protectors, as well as landing skids on here, the front chin spoiler right there. And of course, this very handy SMA and Immortal T antenna holder at the back that work quite well. It also comes with this little GoPro mount right here that's sort of the universal GoPro style. I printed this little session style mount that we're going to run the Runcam 5 4K on and get a little bit of footage for you guys. It fits on there just like this. All in all, this has been a very nice package to get out flying and it's just quite attractive and easy to build and affordable. If you don't want to pay the $100 price tag for an Apex, this one gets you most of that look and feel and light weight for a fraction of the price. About $380 with strap and props so nice and decent weight wise as well these motors have a ton of power and they're very very smooth i'm carrying the lightweight run cam 5 uh, in this footage here but you could easily carry a heavier hero camera with these and they would give you a ton of performance and control so nice job on this very beautiful unibel design
thing guys, is it a bonus to have a single company making the majority of the components for your build? Do you like a frame at the $60 price point? What's the magic number? Is the Source One really the magic number? Is it the Glide? Or do you don't mind spending $100 or more? on one of these premium builds by Armatan, Catalyst Machine Works, or Impulse RC, but the all foxy, foxy, sounds kind of like foxy. 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 